What's up everybody and welcome to week number 20 and, sorry about that, week number 21 of the 2020 photo challenge. And if you're new to the channel, each week, except for last week, we issue a new activity to help you become a better photographer. And we'd love for you to join our Facebook group at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash 2020 photo challenge. Now, the reason we're doing two weeks is last week I was in Arizona, Colorado, out in the West, and I didn't have uh, any sales service to upload what I was doing. So I have to combine them this week. And week number 20, let's start off with that one, is towers. And now when you upload uh, your images, if you put it on social media, such as on Twitter or Instagram, that type thing. Use the hashtag towers. And for towers, what we're looking for is, uh, well, I mean, you can see behind me, we've got lighthouses. You can use uh, water towers, um, even cell phone towers, towering buildings downtown. Uh, but your, your project is images of towers. Now, keep in mind the rules that you've always used you know in the past 20 19 weeks uh, such as the rule of thirds uh, the rule of center rule of symmetry balance you know just throw it all in there together and see what comes out best for you but uh, your focus is going to be on towers now for week 21 i want to explain a little bit more week number 21 is high iso now generally as we discussed with the low isos High ISO tends to bring in grain or noise in digital format and you still have to go to high ISO at some times. For instance, uh, the image over here, that is a low ISO image that I used the low ISO in order to make it look darker. However, if I've got a dark scene such as the image that's behind me here, uh, I had to go with a high ISO in order to bring in as much light as I possibly could. High ISO is great for inside dark arenas or uh, dark homes or night photography, astrophotography, that type of thing. So high ISO. Again, when you share some images for high ISO, we want you to use the hashtag high ISO. Now, what exactly is high, high ISO? With today's more modern cameras, you can bump that ISO up pretty well. The camera I'm shooting from, for instance, I can run an ISO up to ISO 6400 and I feel comfortable with what I'm going to get out of the image. Uh, some of the older cameras, and when I say older, I'm talking less than 10 years old, uh, even 5 years old. Some of them didn't even go up to ISO 3200. But what we want to try is an ISO... 1600 or higher so you'll adjust that again these are great for night scenes night street scenes downtown for instance uh, you can also use it uh, for again night photography astrophotography trying to capture the moon trying to catch and eh, we'll hold off on the moon i better not say that but uh trying to capture stars uh, trying to capture a, a sunset or in the blue hour not after sunset or just before sunrise when it's still very dark outside but you want to gather enough light onto that sensor in order to capture the image that you want to capture for your composition so week number 20 and week number 21 we're going to post this under the same heading under the same topic on our announcement page on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash 2020 photo challenge. You can post either, you can post both, or you can combine them and make it into one image. But use the hashtag high ISO and use the hashtag towers. I look forward to seeing what you got. I hope everybody's been keeping their sanity and until next week, and yes, we will have one come out next Monday. We'll see you then. Have fun shooting, everybody.